Happy Friday, everyone, and thanks for joining us for West Seattle Daily, episode number 30, brought to you by Seatown Real Estate, West Seattle's only indie community real estate brokerage. I'm your host, Christian Harris. Now let's go over some of the events happening around West Seattle this weekend. Karaoke happens regularly around West Seattle every Friday and Saturday at Yenwar Village, Tallericos, and the Admiral Pub. Now on Friday night, uh, our neighbors, Good Society Brewing, is having their grand opening right next door. So I'll uh, be over there. I want to see you there. That'd be excellent. Uh, They're going to have five of their own beers on tap, uh, along with uh, guest taps from Lowercase Brewing, Best of Hands, and Counterbalance, as well as a couple ciders on tap uh, and some wine. Uh, What I really love about them, not only is their beer delicious, but they also have a philanthropic uh, mission. So they are partnering with a couple nonprofits uh, locally here, and a portion of their proceeds for every beer sale will go to those nonprofits. Speaking of beer, it is Chocolate Beer Week at the Beer Junction in West Seattle. Uh, the will, they will be assuming the role of a hops loving Willy Wonka with a special chocolate inspired beers. Uh, you can order a sample tray of at least four beers and you'll receive a free side of assorted chocolates and you might even receive a golden ticket to redeem a free prize. So it's kind of a fun theme going on there this weekend. So you might have noticed today's also Valentine's Day, but if you're feeling a little jaded and bitter towards love and Valentine's Day, you might want to check out the Virago Gallery exhibit. You can see some vibrant one-of-a-kind embroidered cloths with the anti-Valentine's Day theme by uh, local artist India Spence. You can also try your hand at doing some art yourself at the Art Lounge at Highland Park Improvement Club. Doors open at 7 p.m. It is 21 and over. Bring your own arts and craft supplies to the lounge where you can relax and draw their live model that they are providing for free to the community. And a new and interesting exhibit is opening up at the Log House Museum. It's called Between the Lines, Power and Parallels of the West Seattle Annexation. It's uncover the history of how West Seattle joined the greater Seattle and discover how Seattle's past mirrors its present. There's also Valentine's Day in the junction. Round up your friends, lovers, and pets for a host of sweet activities around the junction, including chocolate beer, a chocolate tasting at Capers, and a natural wine tasting at Sound and Fog Wine Bar. You can also try your selection of pink beers and cider at the Valentine's Locust Ciders Alki Tap Room from 4 to 9 p.m. on Alki. On Saturday, don't hesitate, meditate at Inner Alchemy in West Seattle. A free guided meditation class Uh, is also with tax season coming up. Free tax help at the Southwest Library from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Sunday, you have the Alki Oyster Fest 2020. So this is going to be their third annual Oyster Fest on Alki Beach. Bigger and better than ever, this year features delicious oyster selections from Hama Hama, Baywater Shellfish Company, Taylor Shellfish, and Chelsea Farms. You can buy your tickets on Eventbrite. You can also fall in love with 25 Seattle birds, if that's your thing, uh, at Youngstown Cultural Arts Center. They say, have you ever considered yourself bird curious? Well, they have got a workshop for you. So that is from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. on Sunday. There's obviously also the regular West Seattle Farmer's Market. And if you love beer but you can't handle the gluten, the grand opening of Cold Crash Brewing, a dedicated gluten-free brewery, is opening in West Seattle at 4507 48th Avenue Southwest. They will be open on Sunday from 12 uh, noon to 5 p.m. So go check them out. And wrap up your weekend with a little jazz at the alley, which is free every Sunday evening. Thanks for joining us, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll catch you on Monday.